it's time to cook with Susan Beck. Well, I have been busy grating different cheeses and frying up some bacon in this electric skillet to make for you today a nutty bacon cheese ball. Now, the Packers might not be in the Super Bowl this year, but many people will be looking for a delicious treat. And this is a great recipe that I thought I'd make for you that you could try for your Super Bowl party in the coming week. I had this recipe at my mom's house over Christmas. It was a new recipe she had come across, and I have to say I found it to be absolutely delicious. All right, I think it's time for me to get my bacon out of this pan before we talk about other ingredients. This is getting nice and crispy in here. I like to lay it on a paper plate covered with a couple layers of paper towels to absorb all the grease that you get from bacon. Now I got my bacon started while I was getting everything else set up because bacon is easier to handle for a recipe like this when I want to cut it into little bite-sized pieces and little crumbles if I let it cool well first. So time to unplug the electric skillet. We'll slide that out of the way and there is our bacon. This was 10 strips of bacon. Half of it will go into the cheese ball and half of it will be around the outside. For today's bacon nutty cheese ball, we will be using bacon and four kinds of cheeses. We have a brick of cream cheese, that's eight ounces, a quarter cup of blue cheese, a cup of cheddar, and a cup of Monterey Jack mixed in with a half a cup of milk. We will be using poppy seeds, parsley, green onions, and pecans with a little salt and pepper for added flavor. We'll serve this up on a nice plate with some crackers. So as you can see, there are many ingredients in this. I'm going to set the poppy seeds, the pecans, and the bacon and the parsley all off to the side because those will be used in a little bit. I'm going to take my brick of cream cheese and put it into a mixing bowl along with a half cup of milk. These two ingredients will now be mixed together. I'm just going to use my hand mixer today. I'm going to want that on a low temperature speed. And I'm having trouble getting it on a low speed. To get those two mix fairly well. Alright, next we will be adding into that our one cup of Monterey Jack and our one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. You would not have to use sharp cheddar cheese. You could use any cheddar you wanted, really any two cheeses that you'd like to use. I'm sure this would turn out just fine with mozzarella or something like that. All right, I have blue cheese I still need to crumble. Now some people think they don't like blue cheese, but I think in this you're going to find it adds just a nice little bite to the recipe. Um, my husband and I, we absolutely love blue cheese and we love it on our burgers and we love it on lettuce salads and we always have blue cheese in the house. So this is a quarter cup blue cheese. You could always reduce that a little bit if you were uncertain as well about that type of cheese. But give it a try. The only, the only way you know if you like something is to give it a chance. Alright, next ingredient is going to be our green onions. We're just going to cut off the little root part of all of these. And then we will be using the um, white part of the onion at the bottom of these little green onions. So these are my green onions. And um, I'm going to cut fairly far up. The green part is perfectly edible as well. So this was just one rubber banded package of them from the store. So I'm going to just slice those up. until I get slightly to where the green is. Ah, I'm stop right there, I think. All right, and that goes into my bowl of cheeses as well. All right, I'm going to move some of these things out of the way here as we get ready to stir all of our cheese together. For our seasonings, I am going to do a few cranks of fresh ground pepper and some salt. I do about a half a teaspoon of salt there. The recipe just says salt and pepper to taste. 
I was just thought this is just fantastic when I had it at my mom's. I mean, I love my dried beef cheese ball that I've posted, and I've had a ham and cheese dip that I really like, but. I don't know, there was something about all these great flavors in this one that it might be replacing all my other cheese ball recipes as the best one. All right, I am going to put in half of my bacon. All right, so I had a smaller cutting board ready here. So I want five slices of bacon right now. We'll set the other five to the side. And I'm going to be able to handle this just fine with my hands just because I was able to get that cooked first and it cooled off nicely. Um, you know, cooking bacon, kind of a greasy mess. Um, sometimes if you don't want to do that, you could do this with some of the bacon bits you buy in the store, but buy the real bacon bits. They even sell pre-cooked um, bacon nowadays in the store. So that would work as well. I've had it, it tastes okay. Um, it's not too bad, although I kind of avoid it. I'm sure there are a lot of preservatives in it which allow them to pre-cook the bacon and then package it and haul it to the grocery store for you to buy. So in goes that, oh, and half of our nuts. Now I want my nuts finely chopped. These were chopped pecans, but I would like them into even smaller pieces. I'm just going to put half in for now. The other half will go around the cheese ball after it has been refrigerated for a little bit. So I have this handy dandy nut chopper here that works great for chopping nuts and I'm going to make them pretty fine so that they uh, get spread throughout and you don't just get one big chunk of um, nut there. So in go half of my nuts. That was a three quarter cup and I'm using half of it. So. I guess that would be a 3 8 cup for all you math students out there watching me. Half of 3 fourths is 3 eighths. I get that because 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths and half of 6 is 3. So now I have all of my ingredients into my um, cheeses. Everything mixed together nicely and incorporated. So trick for this next part. My son recently found that if you store your saran wrap or cling wrap or plastic wrap in the freezer, it will roll off better. And you know what? I think he's right. I've been freezing my saran wrap for about a month now. So I'm going to go get it out of the freezer. Crazy little trick he found watching. I don't know if he was watching TikToks or YouTubes or what he was doing, but he said, Mom, I think you should try this. So I am going to be making two cheese balls out of this. So I am going to get one piece of saran wrap. I think I'll set that back on my cutting board here. And I will be creating two different cheese balls out of this. I mean, my mom froze one of hers. The one I had was actually one that came out of the freezer. So if you'd like, you could make one now and then save one for another event. Then I'm just gonna wrap the plastic wrap around it so that I have kind of a ball shape. And I'm going to put these into the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours before I then roll them in the poppy seed, nuts, and parsley. All right, our second cheese ball here. All right, we just want these to firm up and become a little more solid, which is the purpose of putting them into the plastic wrap and into the fridge. So we'll have a look at these in a couple hours. Well, these have been in the refrigerator for a little over two hours, and they have definitely firmed up quite a bit. So we will get to those in just a second as I set them off to the side. First, we need to chop the rest of our bacon and our pecans. We will be putting parsley, bacon, pecans, and poppy seeds on the outside of both of our nutty bacon cheese balls. So I want my bacon in some very small pieces. And the same is true with the nuts. Now, putting this um, coating around the outside of our cheese balls would be completely optional. You could skip this step and just put those into a bowl or plate as they are removing that plastic wrap, of course. All right, get a few more chops here to get those nice and diced.
Bacon is going to go into a pie pan. Next we will chop the pecans. This is the other 3 8 cup, half of our 3 quarter cup from the pecans that are already inside our cheese ball. Putting that chopper to use again. You could really mix this all in a food processor as well. Alright, there's our nuts. Then we have one tablespoon of poppy seeds. You know, that's another thing I store in my freezer. All my anise seeds and my poppy seeds and my caraway seeds. Things I don't use a whole lot, just stay fresher, stored in the freezer. And then I have a quarter cup of parsley. So we have these four ingredients that we are going to stir together and roll both of our cheese balls in. So this kind of just makes it nice and pretty, especially with the green parsley there. So I need to unroll these. And they are definitely firmer than they were before. Add that to my garbage from my bacon. Roll that around. And there we have a nice pretty cheese ball that I'm going to set on my winter plate here. And do the same thing with the second one. So one of these I think I will let the family eat tonight and the other one I am going to save for the upcoming Super Bowl game. So I will put that one into the freezer. As I mentioned, my mother had made these ahead of time and got them out when we arrived for the holidays as a little snack one night. All right, that one there. Just gonna grab some of that plastic wrap. And I think the best way to store this would be to put it back in plastic wrap again. And then after I have it wrapped in the plastic wrap, I'm going to stick it into one of my containers here that will seal nicely and I can pop this into the freezer. Uh, next order of business is it's time to give this a taste. I can't wait to give this cheese ball a try here. I've got some wheat thin crackers, but any kind of crackers would be just fine with this. Let's just dig right into the middle of that and scoop up a little bit. Mm. These flavors just all go together so well. You got the sharpness of that blue cheese along with the Monterey Jack and the cheddar and the crunch of those pecans and then that saltiness of the bacon and it just looks so pretty with all the parsley rolled around on the outside of it. And mm, we're gonna enjoy this one tonight and we're looking forward to the game next week when we get to eat the other one. And we'll begin with the cream cheese, followed by a cup of Monterey Jack and a cup of sharp cheddar. I don't want to do it that way. Forgot what I was doing. Let's just dig right in there. This can't be seen. Let's see. 